welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of a different video for you. I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. And the reason I thought I would do this is I kind of want to mix up like tutorials with favourite videos and with kind of more personal get to know me videos and I feel like having a good snoop through my handbag will give you very good insight into who I am as a person. <laughs> Um, also, if you're interested in seeing this like eye look, this makeup look, this is actually a very random kind of look I put together um, for a kind of first impressions, quick mini reviews of a few products and that was last week's video so I will link that in the down bar for you. So first of all, I'll show you the bag that I actually am using at the moment. I have quite a few handbags um, just because I work in a bag and shoe shop so I tend to have a few but this is one that I tend to keep most of my stuff in and I'm not very good at alternating between bags like throughout the week. I'll tend to have a few weeks with this bag and then I'll exchange for a different bag when I get bored and I'll use that bag for a few weeks and then I'll change again but this one I sense myself using for most of the summer because it is just such a great bag. I bought it in winter but it's definitely going to take me right through the seasons. It is this bag here, it's from Merchant 1948 or Overland Foot where if you know that in New Zealand because they're transitioning their name from Overland to Merchant, I've talked about it in a different video. But this is their Della Russo bag, you can actually still buy this in stores. It is $149.90 AUD, so I can't remember the New Zealand price, but it won't probably be more than $200 in New Zealand. It's full leather, so it's a really beautiful quality bag, and it's extremely similar dupe to a Prada bag. So if you're wanting a the look of a designer bag that's still the same quality, it's still leather, it's still made of like really similar materials, it's still got the studs on the bottom, the zip quality, it's metal zip, it's an old plastic zip, really good quality bag, looks like a Prada but you don't have to pay for the Prada label which is you know basically where the money goes. The product is almost identical, it's just simply a name. So yeah, this is the bag I use, I love the size of it, it's also quite a what I like to call a miracle bag because it has a lot of space in it than it looks. It doesn't look too large but you can fit heaps in it. And I find this bag particularly good for traveling because it does fit my iPad in it um, comfortably and I can also fit like a sweater or a little pair of ballet flats or anything like it's quite big um, inside. It also comes with the capability to put a long strap on it. You'll see these little kind of hooks here. Um, there is a long strap if you'd rather it be like a satchel but I tend to like mine with the little lady bag strap. So I wear it in the crook of my arm or I carry it like this. But it's just a beautiful bag. Classic black. It's actually my first black handbag. I really don't own black handbags. Most of mine are brown or beige or I've got a beautiful light blue bag. Um, but most of the time I buy coloured bags. So I needed a black one though because I just... I have a lot of coloured coats and coloured dresses and I found sometimes my coloured bags would clash. So it was just nice to buy a black bag. Right, so inside, um, I haven't really changed this for you guys. Like some of it might be a bit random because I haven't like, it's not like one of those what's in your bags where I've like planned what to show you. I've just simply grabbed my bag after being out um, earlier today and I'll show you what's inside. So the first thing I can see, oh this is kind of like what the inside looks like. It's got light coloured lining and the lining feels really silky smooth. Like I'm not sure what the type of material is. It's not a satin but it's like a cotton that's got a real sort of satiny feel to it. Um, so it's very luxurious. I have a pair of sunglasses. I always usually have a pair of sunnies in my bag. Um, this one here is just a pair of really old ones from Equip. They're Love Heart ones. I love these. I really thrash these and they're actually quite scratched because I don't really keep them in a case because they're just cheap sunnies. So I need to get a new pair because they're a bit mm, scratched up. The next thing I can see is my wallet, which is the main sort of thing in my bag. And this one I'm using at the moment is my little Colette purse, which I talked about in my recent favourites video. The reason I love this bag is it's, um, sorry, love this purse, is because it's such a nice size. It's not too thick or anything and it can fit like all my cards and um, some cash. You can hear it jingling around there and some receipts and even my phone can fit in here if I want to use it for a night out. So it's such a nice little purse and it allows for a lot more room in my handbag for things like my iPad and that if I don't um, want it to fill up with you know a giant wallet. Right the next thing I'm going to grab is this. This is a little cosmetics pouch but I actually keep kind of like random emergency things in here because um, if I'm going to swap handbags it's a lot easier just to pick up you know a few items and transfer it over rather than like you know, oh some safety pins in the bottom, oh I've got to pick this up. So this is actually just a little um, cosmetic bag I got from Blush Baby in a free gift with purchase. So it, I can't tell you where to buy it from but it was a very cute little free gift. Inside I've just got things like a spare Mikey card. This is just for like travel around Melbourne. Um, 
Alex got a student card, so I've stolen his as a spare backup in case I ever lose mine. Uh, I've got a Nivea lip butter and caramel cream. I've got some Listerine um, breath strips. The reason I use these over gum is that we're not meant to chew gum like at work on the sales floor. So um, I find after having a coffee, I always like to have fresh breath because I hate coffee breath. And these are fantastic. I just have some medication. I'll show you what that is. <laughs> um, I've got a comb. Always have a comb in my bag. Never know when you need a comb. Hair tie. This is like my little emergency pack. Uh, I have some plasters. They're a bit manky, but you know, if you're breaking in your shoes, you need plasters. I actually have a lock and keys in here. And the reason these were from when I went to Sydney last week, I had to buy a lock for my, um, like in the hostel to use in the, you know, to lock up my valuables. So I keep that because I'm going back next week. Um, a pen, which I pinched from the Langham Hotel. You're allowed to pinch them, but <laughs> I did take it. I was like, freebie. Um, but this is a really beautiful pen pink and got gold on it and it's always handy to have a pen and the rest of the stuff in here I've just got some like bobby pins and safety pins and a battery random stuff but anything that's kind of weird and miscellaneous but I feel like I need to always have in my handbag I tend to keep in this little pouch right what else have we got in here I've got uh, a facial spray so this is a Avene Earth Earth Mel Thermal Spring Water <laughs> French words. Um, this is just a little like makeup spray. It's basically just water in a can, but it's really nice for like refreshing your makeup throughout the day or if it's a really hot day, especially in summer here in Melbourne, I'm sure I'm going to love this. I've also got my phone spare battery charger. So this is kind of like a battery on the go. Um, my phone always dies because I'm always on Instagram and take photos and I just use my phone a lot while I'm out and I'm sick of having my charger with me, my actual charger, but always having to try and find a power outlet. Like if I'm at the mall, I don't really want to like go over to a random power outlet and stand there and charge my phone. I can plug this in while I'm still around. It just sits in my handbag with the cord and I can still use my phone. Um, it's great for on the train and stuff like that. So I only just recently got this actually and it's really handy to have in your bag and it was only $40 so it's not that expensive. I found another Nivea lip butter. This one's the raspberry rose flavor. Oh, it smells so good. It's my new favourite. Um, I have some random... This was a flight ticket. And I have some Sydney train passes because... And a random business card. Um, just because like, when I travel, I always dump things in here like receipts and it always fills up my bag. I have my headphones. These are just my iPhone headphones. They just sit in this little case that I got at the airport again. Um, it's really adorable. It's like a little sunglass case but for your headphones it's really really cute oh here we go here are all the lip products so got a few MAC lipsticks in here I've got syrup which is like never not in my handbag it's perfect I have twig which is another sort of everyday favorite it's a really nice one to have in your bag because if you forget to put lip product on before you run out the door a neutral lipstick in your handbag is really helpful to have because it'll go with everything oh I have my new favorite at the moment this is Kelly yum yum from the Osborne collection. Oh, so bright. I'm actually gonna do a tutorial featuring this lipstick very soon, so look out for that one. And I have my Lime Crime Red Velvet. This doesn't normally live in my handbag, but I've used it recently and it often ends its way back up in here and I always have to take it out and put it back in my drawer. Because it's not something that I tend to just throw on if I'm needing to quickly put on a lip color, but I do wear it a lot, so it does end up in here. And then I just have my keys as well, which has like my pass to my apartment building and my work keys and everything like that. So that's pretty much it. The last thing I have is my iPhone 5. And this is just a pretty case I got from Forever New. Um, yeah, so that's it pretty much. Actually, I didn't have too much junk in here like I thought. I thought I would have a lot more like receipts. I just had basically the airport stuff that I didn't want in there. So once this is empty, it's actually extremely light too, which is really fantastic because sometimes my bags get so heavy especially when I've got too much in them but this bag is a good size you can fit a lot if you need to but you also don't feel like you need to overfill it like some of those extremely large bags so now I'm just putting everything back in um, the reason my bag also I think stays pretty tidy most of the time is I do tend to clean it out every like two weeks so for example I'm not gonna put these receipts um, these like ticket stubs back in because they don't need to long there all these lip products can go back except syrup. I will keep syrup in the bag because he's handy to have in there. Oh, actually.
actually I realized something because I was using this for my tutorial before this actually is always in my bag it's my little like Beauty and the Beast hand mirror which is also a gift, for, um, gift with purchase from Blush Baby Nicola does some most amazing little gift with purchases all the time so um, thank you Nicola I actually love this it's like a little mirror it's just easy to put on my lipstick while I'm out and actually this usually always is in my handbag I don't get anywhere without it it's just because I used it for tutorial before so that can go back in there actually and I'll pop my charger in, my keys, this lip butter, and my little things. That's good. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed having a little peek inside my handbag. If there's any other sort of part of my life you want to know about or have a snoop through, like my closet or anything like that, just let me know and I can show you. But until next time, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.